In this particular episode, I am going to discuss about thyroid blood test. What exactly are thyroid blood tests? What exactly is thyroid? Thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland in the neck which secretes hormones called thyroid hormones namely T4 and T3. T4 and T3 are inversely proportionate to another hormone called TSH which is produced by the pituitary gland which in turn goes and stimulates the thyroid to secrete T4 and T3. So T4 and T3 which are the actual thyroid hormones are in fact inversely proportionate to the TSH hormone levels in the blood. The most common screening thyroid blood test that is used is TSH. If TSH levels are low, usually that indicates that the thyroid hormone levels in the blood are high. It is not necessarily the case always, but this is usually the case. Similarly, if the TSH levels are high in the blood, it suggests that the T4 and T3 that means thyroid hormone levels in the blood might be low. There is a lot more signs more than this but this is generally the case because sometimes there are problems related to the pituitary, sometimes there are uh, problems related to the assays of the lab and sometimes various other medications as well which can interfere with the thyroid hormone blood test. So in simple the most common screening blood test is TSH in the majority of the cases although in some cases we can only interpret that carefully along with free T4 and free T3 which are the thyroid hormone levels in the blood. There are also other tests such as thyroglobulin, antithyroglobulin antibodies, antithyroid peroxidase antibodies otherwise called antithyroid microsomal antibodies and also TRAB, TRAB or TBII which are used in certain selective cases only. In general by all means it is TSH which is the most commonly used thyroid blood test that should be for screening or monitoring for simple uh, straightforward hypothyroidism uh, management. So ladies and gentlemen please don't get confused between TSH, T4, T3 and thyroid hormone levels. If in doubt, consult a physician, consult an endocrinologist who may be able to guide you appropriately if you have any thyroid problem or not. Please don't unnecessarily fall prey to all the information that is available in the internet and confuse yourself. So this is another pertinent point because either the information that I give you or the other information that is available in the internet is just a general guide and is not necessarily specific to one particular case. So thank you on this note, goodbye.